Today we're talking about a feature in Excel called spark lines. Spark lines are simply miniature charts that represent a single series of data and fit within a single cell. So they're really useful for helping you to quickly spot trends in your data. For example, here we've got a spreadsheet with sales by month for all of our sales reps. So there's lots of detail here, but you have to examine it pretty closely to to spot you know the trends you know, in sales. So to insert spark lines, it's really easy. We're going to highlight the area where we want our spark lines inserted. We'll go to the insert tab on the ribbon, and then here in the spark line section, we'll choose between a line chart, columns, or win loss. We'll put in lines for now. Now it pops up this window for create spark lines, and we want to choose the data that we want represented. So we'll just highlight that whole section right there. And because we highlighted our range beforehand, it already knows where we want to place the spark lines. If we hadn't done that before, you could click down here and select that range. We'll click OK, and you see there, there are the spark lines. We can change the column width too if you need to make it more readable. So each of these spark lines represents just the row that it's on. Every one is just a single series of data. If we want to make changes to our spark lines, we can easily do that. This blue line around it tells us that these are all grouped together, so they'll all respond to the same formatting. So here on the design tab of the ribbon, Again, we can choose between line or column or win loss, so we can switch that to column if we wanted. And then you can also choose whether you want uh, markers for your high point or low point, uh, negative points, or a marker at every data point. And then you can also choose from a color scheme. You can use one of their pre made color schemes, um, or you can individually choose your line color and your marker colors for high, low, first, last, um, you know, whichever ones you want to specify individually. So if you want to customize one of these separately, you can select it here and choose ungroup then any formatting that you do would apply just just to that individual spark line and we could regroup these if we want to be able to format them together again a couple of other options that we'll look at back in the design tab um, you can see that there is an axis setting here and there we can choose whether we want to um, show the axis or hide the axis and then you can also choose whether, whether you want to plot your data right to left or left to right and you can set minimum maximum values for your axis and, and uh, there's other settings in there too you can explore those as you need them and then also it's important that uh, this clear button right here that's how you get rid of the spark lines if you don't want them anymore um, the, you know, where you would normally just go to a cell and hit the delete key on your keyboard or right click and clear contents, that won't work on spark lines. You have to use the clear button and you can either clear selected spark lines or clear the entire group. Um, undo will bring those back. So that's really about all there is to spark lines. You can see they're really simple to use but do a great job of helping you to be able to quickly spot trends in your data.